Hey, greetings friends. I'm Glenn Thomas and tonight we're talking parallel compression in Ableton. If you're new to the channel, so glad that you're here. Hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and join our community. We'd love to have you. We're talking everything from creativity, music, Ableton, and beyond. And tonight we're talking parallel compression. Let's dive in. All right, so inside Ableton now, what is parallel compression? Well, parallel compression is the idea of taking two different signals, a completely compressed signal, and a completely dry signal, or a signal that is not compressed at all, and then blending them together. And that's done in a couple different ways that I'll just talk about real quick. Um, the first is some plugins have a compressor mix knob. Now this is the CLA Mix Hub from Waves, which I've really been enjoying. It's got a compressor mix knob, which is one of my favorite things about this compressor. But some other compressors, this one doesn't have a mix knob. So what are you supposed to do then to get parallel compression? Well, I'll show you a couple different ways that you can do that. All right, everybody, time out here real quick. What are some of the compressors that you like using? Uh, stick those down in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. It, this is the same track I was working on last time with the CLA mix up. So it sounds like this all together. And even though you can see this meter going uh, pretty high, I've got the compressor mix all the way down. So you're actually not hearing any of this compression. Uh, so that's the dry drums. What do the wet drums sound like? Completely compressed. Take a listen to this. Let's solo these. So you can see on the big hits, really big compression, but it's coming back fast. I've got this thing, fast attack, fast release, type blue. So you can hear that. Now let's take the mix all the way back. Cool. So both versions, compressed and not compressed, have some very cool sounds to them. And the beauty of parallel compression is that you can blend them together. So what I like to do is I like to start with my dry signal and then just blend in some of that compressed sound, just about like that. So there you're getting a little bit of that overly compressed sound. See, this one's just squashed. But you bring it back, blend it in with the dry sound, and you get a nice big sound that has lots of body and character to it. Okay, so that's one way to do it, is a plug-in with a mix knob. What are a couple other ways to get parallel compression? Well, another way is to, in Ableton, I like to just make this uh, audio effects rack that has a compressed channel in it, and that has my compressor in it, as you can see here. And then I like to have a clean channel in my audio effect rack. And this audio effect rack has nothing, no effects. But then what I'll do, I'll map these two volumes to this one macro knob, and then I will come up to the routing of the mapping, and I will invert the range here. So one will be going up when one is going down. So if you take a look at what happens here, when I change this, you can see this one is at negative infinity or off, and this one's full on. But when I bring these down, they flip. So this allows me to take, uh, for example, in the zero position, we are just listening to clean drums. Just clean drums. Now when we go all the way up, we're just listening to compressed drums. Bring it back, blend them together. Cool. So that's another way to do parallel compression uh, for those plugins that don't have uh, mix knobs. And so one last way to do it is to insert a second channel, uh, either in line here or over in the returns that you can send your clean channel to and get a compressed signal. So an example of that would be, let's just make another return here. So I'll right click and I'll say insert return track. And then we've got this C return here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load up the stock Ableton compressor. Actually, you know what, let's use the glue compressor. Why not? Glue compressor over in a return. And now when I send a full signal there, we've just got a uh, compressed signal over here. And then what you can do is you can just blend it in with the volume of the return track. So again, we come over here and we say, let's solo this. Great. But I bring this in. Now I can start to blend in some of that compressed signal. 
which again, by itself is overly compressed. But so I can just blend in a little bit here. That's pretty much all there is to it. It is taking a completely compressed signal and blending it together with a completely dry signal. Hence the name parallel compression. They're running up next to each other in separate lanes, but they are parallel to each other. Hopefully this was helpful for you to see how parallel compression can be useful in your mixes. If it was, I'd love for you to hit that like button. And again, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if this wasn't helpful, hit that thumbs down and in the comments section, Tell me why this wasn't helpful, what you'd like to see in the future on this channel, and uh, how I can help you. I'd love to help you in any way that I can. So, again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.